Today, I'm gonna to show you how to start affiliate marketing without any followers. We're gonna jump right into it. It's not as hard as you actually think it might be, and it's actually realistic. You can actually start getting traffic if you are calculated, you follow the steps in this video. So you wanna make sure to get a piece of paper out, get a pen, take notes on this, watch the video to the end because I'm gonna be showing you from a uh, six-figure affiliate that uh, somebody that actually goes out and makes money with affiliate marketing and I'm not just making a video for video's sake on YouTube so I can get views. I'm actually gonna show you what I do and what you should do in order to go out there and start getting commissions on a daily basis in a niche of your choosing and you can go out there and start making money with digital marketing, affiliate marketing. So let's jump in. So if you were to go to YouTube right now and you typed in Gamma App Review, right? So Gamma App Review, and you're going to see a video up here and it's actually ranked number one. And you can see, this is one of my faceless YouTube channels that makes me over six figures per year. So what I teach um, you in this video and what I teach in on this channel is how to make money, but I teach you from a perspective um, of real life experience of what's working out there with affiliate marketing and YouTube and different platforms. And I can show you, I can show you proof. You can go watch some of my other income reports and so forth. I'm not really here to show you proof on this video, but this stuff definitely works. And you're gonna wanna go out there and start ranking content. And you can, it's actually easier than you think. And you don't really have to have, a, like I do have channel authority on this channel over here, but you can get started with even less competition keywords. Now, if we want to went over to Gamma app, for example, if I went over to Gamma AI, and then we went over and we opened up the home page right here. And then what I like to do is this little similar web tool right here. It'll actually, and I use this tool and so forth, but what it'll actually tell me is like how much traffic this site's getting. So this is over 14 million visitors per month. So this is a big application and it's bringing a lot of traffic into my business. Now, what you can do, there's a couple different ways to do this, is that if you go and you get one of these videos ranking, uh, it can actually bring you traffic because I'm actually not an affiliate for this, for this. Here we go, guys. Application. But if we come down here and we scroll, you'll be able to see that I still put a link over here into a community that I run that teaches you all this stuff, right? And so it, I'm still bringing traffic into my business, bringing value to the people that want to know about this application, and I'm able to piggyback off the traffic and bring and signups and new customers into my business as well, right? So that's one way that you can do that. Now, if you're an affiliate for this application right here, I don't believe that they, this particular app had an affiliate program. I mean, I would definitely be putting an affiliate link right here to make money, right? So this brought 13,000 views into my business right over here for a channel that almost has 14,000 subscribers. And you can see that the competition is there. There's Gamma App Review, and you can just keep going, scrolling through here, all the videos and all the other YouTubers that are making videos about Gamma App, Gamma Re AI. So a lot of competition. I'm ranked number one right there. And so let me teach you how you can go out there and do like re research, how to pick a niche, how to come up with a content plan and get started right away. We're gonna do this very quickly, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into ChatGPT. While you're in ChatGPT, you can change the prompt to your liking, but right here, I just literally said, give me five low competition niches that I could start a YouTube channel on and make money with affiliate marketing. Now, one thing that I like to do is, is you can say, here are my interests. Now, if you have some things that you're passionate about and you have interests, then this is where you're gonna wanna go in there and say, hey, I really like hiking and camping and fishing and this and this and this. For me, it was maybe I like the data analysis and Microsoft Excel and I like affiliate marketing and I like you know, reviewing softwares and I like this and I like this. You're gonna put in some of your interest in there and then ChatGPT is gonna go and take those interests into, into consideration and they're gonna go, ChatGPT is gonna go out there and find some things that you're, you're experienced at, right? So you're gonna be able to talk a lot easier about these things. But for the sake of this, let's just see what it gives us. So I'm gonna push enter and we'll see what ChatGPT, uh, we got an error, we'll be right back. When that happens, just go open up ChatGPT again, boom, push enter and then try to start again. So here we go. So we have educational hobbies, 
And it'll even tell us like affiliate opportunities and the potential topics, model building, calligraphy, puzzle solving strategies. So we can come over here, eco-friendly, sustainable living, pet care right there, travel and adventure, home organization and productivity. So let's just say that we're going to go with home productivity right here. So potential topics, decluttering tips. Perfect. So product productivity tools, that would be perfect too. It's with what I'm good at, which is software reviews. And now we have productivity tools. So let's just take productivity tools because that's something I'm knowledgeable about. But remember, you can take, this already gave us a lot of, because each one of these five broad, broad, broad topics, and I don't recommend really necessarily going with just home organization and productivity. That's going to be a lot, but you can go and you know, create an entire YouTube channel on decluttering tips or something like that. So productivity tools, this is their, their chat GPT means this in a way of home organization and productivity. So let's just go with like decluttering, decluttering tips. So I'm going to say decluttering. I'm going to copy this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. Now you could go with chat GPT and you could go right here and say, Hey, for decluttering tips, give me 10 YouTube video ideas, something like that. You can do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually go over to vidIQ. And if you're starting a brand new channel, we want to go after search traffic. There are different ways that you can get traffic, which is YouTube recommending your content, more viral type. You know, basically it's a YouTube title that people aren't really searching for, but you're still going to get a ton of traffic. But that generally happens, you know, later on as your channel gets a little bit of age and authority. I do recommend mixing some of those types of videos in even with a new channel. But to get started, to kind of guarantee that you're going to get traffic. We want to go after search based traffic. It's going to basically be an SEO strategy. So you can start getting ranking content and getting evergreen con uh, traffic to your videos. So the best way we can go with any, any, platform traffic, right? Pinterest and Twitter and Instagram and TikTok, a lot of different great places that you can get started. I recommend getting started on any of the platforms that resonate with you and that you really know and like. For me, it's always been YouTube and that has what's wor that's been what's worked for me several times. I have a ton of YouTube channels and I've had success with a lot of them. And so YouTube just works. And I think this is a very long game and evergreen approach, something that's going to be there for a very long time, years to come. And that's why if you want to build a real business online, I recommend going with YouTube as a foundation for your traffic. And then you can start sprinkling in and adding more platforms as well. You can also repurpose. The great thing is you can repurpose the content that you build on YouTube. You can repurpose it and then go and put it on Instagram Reels, TikTok, Facebook, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here to vidIQ real quick. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go and paste that in that keyword decluttering. And really, maybe we want to we just want to see what it says. But you might want to be specific as well. Because there could be, you know, more areas that decluttering comes into mind, but home organization and decluttering, look at all these right here, decluttering and organi organizing right here. And we have all these different questions that people are asking. So there's a lot of different things that you can do. You can come in here and you can actually view questions right here. And then you could go and you could actually sort this by overall score and try to get some of the easier, you know, low hanging fruit keywords. And so maybe you would come in here and you would just grab uh, maybe 10 of these guys right here, because we know that they have good overall scores. As long as they're over 50, I really like them. So we'll come through here. What am I decluttering? That's not a good keyword. We want to go with some really big uh, long tail keywords, uh, improve mental health right there. And these are all getting search traffic and volume, which is good. Why is decluttering hard? These are really, really good ones, guys. Okay, so we're gonna copy these. And then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna come back over here in just a second, but we're gonna come over here and we're gonna open up a spreadsheet. You can use Google Docs sheets or you can use Microsoft Excel. I have that installed as well. And then we're gonna do over here, we're gonna say topic right here, right? Or more traditionally, you can put keyword, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste this in right over here, oops. Paste special values right there. And so you can see how this just took this all into comma, but we can fix that really quickly. So we can just come back over here to chat GBT and say, make this comma list into a column list without, and then we can do a, a colon right there, paste and boom, put that in there. And then chat GBT will go out and just do the hard work for us. Look how cool it is. Just the, these are just simple things live on the go. I didn't plan to, to have that issue with this but this is how you fix stuff. You just use ChatGPT. So now we'll come over here 
and we'll actually just copy this. We'll come back over here and we'll go up here and delete that and paste that in right there. And then maybe we'll, you know, highlight these two right here, right click and delete, delete rows two and three, and then boom. And then right here, this cross bar, bar right here, you're gonna double click right there and it's gonna open it up right there. So, and then I usually like to come over here and put a bold on that right there. And now you have all these topics where you'll be um, answering questions right over here. Obviously this right here, we need to clean this part up as well. And we'll just move that over like so. So then now we have some questions to answer that people are asking, and then we'll go back over and do a little bit more keyword research. So then what I'll do is I'll come over here and we'll go with matching terms. And we wanna see what else is out there, what's ranking for this uh, decluttering. So here might be a really good one right here. So you would just grab that and you would copy it and then you'd come over here. So spend, you know, I would, if you're going to start a YouTube channel and you're going to be serious about affiliate marketing, spend an hour getting your content plan organized and ready to go. As you can see right here, this is an unscripted video. That's how I do my videos. We literally went from, um, you know, topic research or niche research on ChatGPT. We got excited about one of them. Then we moved on to vidIQ. We did keyword research and then we opened up a spreadsheet. You can do uh, to your niche. It doesn't, you don't have to get into this analysis paralysis and wait months before you start a, channel, a YouTube channel and start your affiliate marketing journey, you can actually do it within about an hour. Pick your niche and then move on and then come in here and do keyword research. I recommend spending you know an hour getting a nice content plan over here and then it's gonna be about execution and action, right? So another th great thing that you can do is after you do this, go and hand pick ones that you either stand out to you. Like I wouldn't do this one apartment in Singapore. Some of these you're gonna have to be kind of use your common sense and maybe not, you know, five, best tips for decluttering. This is showing up in a keyword research tool, but most likely people are not actually typing that in. Maybe maybe you can make a video about it, maybe not, but this one is probably not one that's like a keyword rich one, but you can just come over here, desk decluttering, that might be a really good one, right? And you can, maybe you can make a, a series of, you know, we're gonna be talking about desk decluttering. I'm gonna make three videos about it, right? So once you go and you go and fill in your sheet over here, one other place that we can go to with this is, we can go back and grab our main keyword and then we can go over to different places like we can go to answer the public. Here's a good one. And we could even go into YouTube right over here and paste decluttering in and push search. And then we could also go into this also, also ask.com is a good one. And you can come over here and select your country and then paste the keyword in and then push search. And I don't have any more credits right here because I used this yesterday, but this is going to give us the same different kind of, I need to sign into this real quick, just to give you that other ver you know variety. Also asked is also a good one. And I recommend picking up a paid plan if you wanna you know use these kind of tools. But we have 27,000 search volume on the main keyword, but then it's gonna come over here. It's gonna give us a wheel of different things, but really you can come in here and I like to look at the list right over here. And then you can start looking at all these different things that people are looking for. And then we can come over here and we can even look at like comparisons, like decluttering need versus want and mental health. So there's all kinds of different ones. Maybe to start off, go with questions, right? So then you come over here and you start looking at all these different questions that people are asking. You could actually highlight this whole thing right here and you would have a ton of content ideas. So we could highlight that whole thing right there. We could copy this and we could come back in to our sheet and we could paste this in right here as well. And then what I would do is just go to ChatGPT and I would just say, clean this list up. Give me just the questions, no numbered list, and then paste that in, boom. And then ChatGPT is gonna go out there and just siphon the questions that we just got from Answer the Public. You can see how fast it is as well. This is just brilliant, right? This is how you use ChatGPT to your advantage to help you create a content plan and use these different tools. And then we can come out over here and I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna copy this. We're gonna come back over here and we are going to paste this in right over here. And then I'll just come over here, grab that and we'll do a right click and we will push delete. And then now you have all these questions right over here, right? So you can see that. So we come over here and look, we have 110 video ideas just like this live in front of you. You have over 100 videos that you need to go out and create. 
And I guarantee you that if you go and start taking action and start answering all these questions, you're going to rank at the top of YouTube for several of these keywords. Some of them are going to end up being really com competitive and so forth, and you won't be ranking. You'll start trickling traffic. You'll start ranking for some of these. You'll start getting traffic. And then all you have to do is just go out there and find, you could even go into ChatGPT and say, give me some we can say something like this, give me some decluttering affiliate programs or products, right? So you can go with Amazon. You could even, some of your favorite products in that niche, you could just sign up to the Amazon affiliate program. You know, if you have a product that you use that helps you declutter or a desk that you use that's really helps you to be on, uh, you can go and sell those, right? You can go and uh, look at this, just this list right here. We can go over there, container store affiliate program, five to 10% right there, Wayfair, Etsy, decluttering books, storage solutions, digital products right here. So then this is where you can go decluttering courses. And this would probably be my favorite right here is that you could actually go and just create a mini course, one, two, three hours and sell it for 27 bucks. Put that link on all your, uh, your videos and you'll be able to make sales from that. But if you wanna just quickly get started, sign up to an affiliate program and then you're going to be place, making videos about that, place using those inside of your videos uh, on your content plan sheet over here. And then as your videos rank, you're just going to come back over here. You're going to put that link in the description over here. You're going to get all this traffic over here. People click on those, make purchases, and then you start making money with affiliate marketing. So this is the point of how this works is, is that you can go out and start ranking content for these long tail keywords that there's, you know, YouTube is starving for content like this that people probably have not even made content on. And then your video can show up. You can be helpful in answering questions all while making sales right here. So if YouTube doesn't have a, an exact video to answer that question and you're the one that makes the, the video on it, there's chances are you're gonna rank in the top five, the top three, and for some of the videos, you'll rank number one, even on a new YouTube channel. And that's how you can go and rank content, get traffic without any followers. And so hopefully this video brought value to you. This system actually works. It's a real system. If you actually took everything you learned in this video and just went out and applied it in six months from now, you'll be coming back and saying, it worked. I built a, an affiliate marketing business, my YouTube channel, uh, monetized, I'm making money with the YouTube ad partner program. I'm also making a lot of money with affiliate marketing and I'm getting subscribers and traffic because I've implemented all these steps in this video. So um, the choice is yours. You can either take this and run with it and go out there and implement your business to starting today, or you can continue just looking at other videos trying to find other things that are going to work for you. And, you know, three, four, five months down the road, you're still kind of looking at shiny objects and not making a decision about yourself and building a real online business. So thanks for tuning in, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.